ultrasound thing is is not just an American problem. That's a worldwide problem. Um, I know that there are are French riders trying to get a hold of some horses that Allison Springer has. They're looking, everybody's looking for the next winner. You know, in America right now, there are four horses that could win uh, at the WEG. We just don't know who they are. <laughs> That's funny. That's <laughs> true. Well, now we are at the beginning of our third rotation of team riders. The first one to go is the British rider, Emily Llewellyn. That's why she, uh, on your on your schedule she'll have a T next to her name. And right now, after two riders, the Canadian riders are in the lead, a substantial lead of 90.9 U.S. 107, Great Britain 110. But we can't really judge from that. We're in our third rotation, and it looks like Emily's had a very good start to being a super competitive. I test. like this horse. I think it looks like a real classic three-day horse. Very nice, even, medium trot across the diagonal. Good flexibility in the shoulder end. The horse a little bit cockeyed in its head carriage. It could be a little straighter up and down in the pole. Good, nice, smooth turn. No loss of rhythm, no loss of balance there. Very well done. Very nice presentation. Oh, missing a right hind leg behind. That's really unfortunate. And a little bit stuck in the mud there going backwards. Here she sets up for her shoulder in. For me, at this camera angle doesn't show a lot of lateral bend. Oh, but that's better. And now the half pass. Again, the camera angle makes it look like there's... The quarters are trailing, but I am quite certain that she's in the correct position. Nice transition into the trot. I'm oh, sorry, nice transition into the walk. And the horse is moving all the way through. And I love the connection there. That's very good. A little bit light at the end of the rain there, but not bad. Nice balance uphill. The horse is a great expression, very relaxed. Just a bit more round into the canter transition. You could see that coming. She went to shorten the, the frame, and the horse went hollow instead of through. Nicely positioned in the, in the half pass. You could show a little bit more flexibility through the rib cage. And then going to send you see just slight tilting of the head and head uh, to the right. So it means that the horse isn't moving through the body equally on both sides. But it's it's not a horrible mistake. It just needs something to be corrected. That's much better. You know she took her time there. It never did get salvaged. But the horse got a little crooked out of the corner. And as a result, it, it went a little bit sideways in the change, and so it was laid behind, which will be quite a, quite a large deduction there. The girl sits beautifully. The, Emily sits really pretty on the horse. Very attractive rider. This could, might be getting a little bit tense as he goes along. And then he settles again. You know, it's funny. A horse can go in a different direction uh, with any single one of its legs at any moment. And so it's really, in this situation, in this kind of an environment, it's really hard to keep the horse on, on all four legs and, and in two tracks the entire way around. That well, and Emily's, uh, Emily's FEI career started with this horse in 2015. That went a little sideways, didn't it? A little sideways, it? too, there. The same thing with the other change. So she tells you where he is in his training. He's obviously just new to that kind of exercise. That kind of uh, and she, you know, she started in 2015 with this horse in the FEI calendar. Uh, you know, with C CIC one star, she has done two CIC three stars, one at Burnham Market this year and one at Bramham uh, just a few weeks ago. She did the 
uh, CCI two star last autumn at Le Lyon, Danger, uh, and she's had a very very successful record to date with this horse. So really looking forward to getting to know Emirati Night Sky and Emily. Uh, I saw her last night, and she's just. It's